Hey, hey, you are on Streetcast on Radio Adelaide. That was Remember to Remember by Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. And before that, you heard our gig guide song, Into My Arms by Bloods. Hope you have an excellent Saturday afternoon, wherever you are, whether it's at home. A bit of a, you know, wintry day today. It's a bit chilly. But uh, look, we'll, we'll keep things rolling with a bit of comedy. Musical comedy may not be as popular as your typical stand-up fare, but for those willing to give it a go, it's proving to be just as hilarious. With their trusty guitar or piano, catchy tunes and often absurd lyrics, musical comedians are becoming a hit on our local comedy scene, as audiences embrace shows dedicated to this welcome alternative. Wendy Torbay and AJ Ray are two of Adelaide's best young musical comedians. They're performing at the Crown and Anchors Musical Comedy All-Stars show next Tuesday, and they both join us now in the studio. Guys, welcome to Streetcast. Hey. Hey. How are you all doing? Pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I got a little rained on on the way. Little rained on? okay. Hence my wintry comment, you know, I wanted to just set the mood, <laughs> just get everyone hip and happening. So, we have two All-Stars in the studio. What does it mean to be an All-Star? In musical comedy, because that is quite the title. Best of musical comedy. All of us is a star. Yeah. <laughs> quite five pointed. Five pointed. <laughs> Heads and stuff. Is that right? Yeah. So you've got basically, because we do have a, even though musical comedy in Adelaide perhaps isn't quite as well known as I mentioned traditional stand up, there is, there is this emerging scene, isn't it? It's quite exciting. I've actually heard from people who've come to musical comedy shows in the past that they said to me, I found out during the show that I didn't like comedy, and I was so offended. And he goes, no, no, I don't like comedy. I really like musical comedy. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I think it gives people more of a chance to get engaged and have fun and, you know, occasionally sing along. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wendy, your, your own thoughts? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think AJ's kind of right. A lot of people do... Um a lot of people do prefer musical comedy and don't act, aren't all that into the stand-up. Um, yeah. It's easier to follow along, bob yeah. your head. Yeah. It's, kind of, it's kind of interesting in itself that uh, you know, people are thinking, oh, they don't like comedy, but they like musical comedy. But isn't it one and the same, almost? Yes, that's yeah. what I thought. I was very confused by his comments, but it's also encouraging when you're being a part of a musical comedy yeah. show. Yeah. But having said that, like... Don't not come because you like stand-up comedy. If you like stand-up comedy, you can like musical comedy as well. Mm. Like you, you get the punchlines, but at the same time, you get to sing along and have a good time as well. You get rhyming punchlines. Rhyming punchlines. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't get that in traditional stand-up. <laughs> now you've got a pretty impressive lineup uh, on Tuesday at the Cranker, the All Stars show. Jerry Massey, Bridget Faye, Sung Like a Horse, and of course Wendy, you and uh, AJ as well. Um, we excited? Very. They're some yeah. of my favourites in Adelaide. Yeah, I was really honoured when actually I asked Sung Like a Horse and, um, and Jerry Mas Massey and Bridget and they said, oh yeah, sure, we'll definitely do that. I've just kind of gone, oh yay. Oh, so you've actually, <laughs> all, you've been the instigator, you've organised this uh, from the get-go. Yes, yes, um, organising, that's just kind of chipping away at it every day. I should probably do some more. Yeah, yeah. You know. Rip It Up described Wendy as a little bit of sex, comedy and rock and roll and I guess right. she thought Adelaide could use a little <laughs> bit more of that. <laughs> For yeah. sure. What, um, what's triggered that? What, what made you think that we need a musical comedy all-star show in Adelaide? I just can't, I can't see how there's not already one. Like there are so many great musical comedy acts in Adelaide. Um, this is just like a few of the best ones. There are even so many more that I couldn't even fit in the night. Yeah, because I mean, there was a, I think there was a crankish show a little bit earlier, I think it might have been in May, it was the first uh, dedicated musical comedy show. Yeah, yeah. Did that kind of get the ball rolling, do you think? It was actually at that show where it kind of went, all right, let's, um, let's get more musical comedy happening. Yeah. Who knows if it goes well, we'll do it, we'll do it more often. A lot of the acts that um, we saw on that show we first started seeing them down at the World's End when they used to do character jam and it's amazing how sometimes musical comedy and character comedy can work really well together and like Mad Dog Malcolm um, is just oh just amazing and I l he lo does this huge Broadway production number uh, I won't mention the uh, Are we allowed to the mention subject the subject of it but the subject of, oh it's just hilarious it has me rolling in my seats so I'm really excited to not just only participate but get to watch everybody again 
I don't think Bridget's one of the best for sing-alongs. She gets everybody standing up and doing like pirate drinking ditties. I'm just like, oh, it's whose line is it anyway? All over again. <laughs> so plenty of uh, plenty of exciting times there. Do you think that's another advantage of uh, musical comedy? Is you can get so many different styles, and there's always something uh, a little bit different happening up on stage. Whereas I guess if you more I don't know traditional stand-up, there is typically just the one person, and they are firing off the jokes. Whereas musical comedy, yeah, who knows what's going to happen. It's very true. Yeah, yeah. That, that's ex- that's exactly right. And yeah. you can kind of just randomly jump into a new song and um, completely change the feel of the audience um, in a matter of seconds once mm. they hear what the new strumming is going to be like. Or, yeah. For instance, uh, talking about how different it can be, I was really hoping Svetlanka Sexkatenia might come and be a bit of a special guest. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, she's over in Melbourne. But something she does, which is a part of musical comedy, is simply uh, whipping an audience member while they're on a chair and doing her Ferenian whip dancing. Wendy, I believe you started in 2009? Uh, Yes, AJ and I actually used to um, write our friends songs for their birthdays when we were at high school. Great. About 2007 that started. Yeah. Yeah. And then when AJ started doing stand-up comedy, I went along a couple of times and um, dragged her into my musical comedy. It was the covers like I Kissed a Girl and I Vomited and things like that in <laughs> yeah. the early days. Yes, good, but good. Wendy is a much better singer, and I'm not a great singer. I rap stuff. She, oh, oh, she yeah. is such a good rapper. Yeah, so <laughs> that's why we stopped doing stuff as a duo, and I took more of the rhyming side, and she took more of the, hey, I can actually play an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now uh, they're all ready to hear that I'm a good singer, getting all that uh, insecure. And- because I know, because <laughs> I was wondering, because I know you've done stuff with the uh, as a duo with Lord Stompy, for yes. example. What's uh, he been like to work with? Um, I think uh, we're both um, very different people, mm. and it's worked out. It worked out really well. Like we got a completely new style. It was um, after working with him that Rip It Up described our show as um, sex and comedy and rock and roll. Um, yeah, he definitely, um, and he got me to focus a lot more on. Um, making my singing better so it kind of um I know helped me like bring the two styles together a lot more I saw both of them perform at the squatter's arms and I know that's just about the dodgiest pub in Adelaide but it was <laughs> the best gig I'd ever seen massive hippies huge dreads they all put their lighters out on the dance floor were dancing around and waving their lighters in the air and getting so into it and the song I'd heard before had never been a call and response song before, but suddenly it was with everybody in the yeah. audience just <laughs> yelling out and arguing like a pirate. and Yeah, brilliant times. Musical comedy, things will get a little out of hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do either of you guys have a musical background yourself? Is that why you felt musical comedy was the way to go? Well, Wendy is really good at uh, playing guitar and several other very strange international <laughs> instruments, but I suppose we were both involved in our school's um, musicals from an early age. This is quite good. I think Wendy was often number two in Annie. Often. I was Pepper. That's oh, like, that's like the most name. important, apart from Annie, because the show's named after her, so clearly she's more important than Pepper. But I had a name. I had a name. We also did drama together at high school. I was Oberon, AJ was Puck. Yes, it's very been a very close working relationship. I yeah. feel like there's been good team chemistry there from day one. <laughs> Mouthy yeah. tongue and a red guard. I learned my yeah. place early on. Good stuff. So with the musical comedy, um, you've got the, you know, you have been doing a bit of drama and you've done a little bit of music as well. So you've got the skills, Wendy, I know in particular with your guitar. With the lyrics though... Is it a little bit harder to match the lyrics with the melody in which you're playing? Is it tough to get that mix right? Um, yes, but when it starts getting right, it just kind of it just kind of works. Like the way I write, I just sit there with my guitar and kind of start strumming and start saying what comes to my head, and then later on sit down and nut out the the little dot the i's and cross the t's basically. Um, but yeah, it can be a lot harder, but once it starts working and once I start saying it, it just just happens. Like I could think about a song for two weeks and try and write it for two weeks then finish writing it in a minute. Yeah. AJ, how about you when you're freestyling up on stage? Does it just come naturally for you? Uh, well, I have a very different writing process to Wendy because I'm not <laughs> extremely musically inclined. So if I'm doing a cover, I sit there with the original lyrics and I nut them out. One of the hardest ones I ever did was Ice Ice Baby because it's a fast <laughs> rap and I didn't realise how fast it was. 
But I did that, and if when I'm writing original songs, I do, I write it all down, and sometimes I write several pages of rhymes, and then I have to try and fit it all together somehow cohesively, and then I try and add it to a backing track, and I go, half of these sentences only have four syllables, and half of these sentences are like t two sentences put together, but it all works out. It's... I think, I don't know, I've got to get garage band or something, yeah. something the cool <laughs> kids are down with and get some more practice on my beats. How does it compare to your traditional stand-up when you're just firing off the funnies? Well, it's very different because when you're writing a song, you have to try and find the funny and fit it in in a way that works. So sometimes you might have a great punchline, you just can't make the words work together. So what do you do? Uh, and I really love performing straight stand-up. I think it's great. That's where you can really give them a one-two punch because they don't know a theme, they don't know where it's coming from. Where, within songs, usually, you know, it takes you a little longer to get there and it works. Yeah, great. Wendy, from what I've heard online of a few of your songs, um, you, you are playing live for us one a little bit later, but uh, from what I have heard personally, <laughs> you don't mind throwing in the odd sexually explicit remark. <laughs> Is that fair to say? Um, yes, I, I, think it, I think it would definitely be fair to say. Now, what I was thinking, though, is um, with musical comedy, if, if I'm an audience member and I'm really enjoying the song in itself, you can almost forget that we can almost not be paying quite as much attention to lyrics as the performer perhaps would you, would they, would the audience member be liking that, if that makes sense. Essentially, what I'm saying is that given you are doing these uh, little bits, uh, sexually explicit remarks and making them feel a little bit uncomfortable almost, do you think that makes them engage with your comedy just that little bit better? I think it actually does because um, if you're going away and singing a song and something and the people are just losing themselves and paying more attention to the music, and then all of a sudden someone's gone, oh, like, oh, balls. And they're like, what? <laughs> Who's talking about balls? <laughs> yes. Time to pay attention again. The perfect talk. about masturbation. Yeah. <laughs> I know what she means. Yeah. I AJ, just, how about you? I just thought of another difference between the stand-up and the musical comedy mm. is you don't usually leave a show and have the jokes pop into your head and you talk along with the jokes, but when you leave Wendy's show, she was like, I was wondering... It just... You think, yeah. That's how weeks later, too. weeks later, it just pops into your head and you go, damn it! <laughs> now, Wendy, as I mentioned there, you have brought in guitar with you today. Yes. And we would love to hear a tune from you. What have you got for us today? Um, this one is uh, dedicated to all the wallabies that are playing today, the Australian, the Australian rugby team. I think I got that right. This song is about my support for sports and how I'm very careful when I walk home alone. Wendy Torbay here on Streetcast. Take it away. I think AJ also may have um, over-talked my guitar skills. <laughs> well, I was walking home late one night when I heard footsteps following close behind Well I was sure something was following me Perhaps an alien or pervert freak But my fears could not foresee The horror that stood in front of me When I was met by an entire rugby team One said, hey you look alright And I suggested, maybe he come home with me tonight But as all his friends began to follow I told him this would have to be a one-man show but then he pleaded, my team must always come with me Well I have had a lot of things in me But none of them could compete with a rugby team Well I have had a pineapple inside of me That did not have as many pricks as a rugby team and when I had a fish inside of me Well that was almost as slimy as a rugby team And when I had a black man in me Well he could almost compete with a rugby team Well I have had a lot of things in me 
But none of them could compete with the rugby team. Yeah. Bravo. Doing our wallabies proud. <laughs> I'm doing them very proud. That was the rugby song by Wendy Torbay. Wendy, well done indeed. Can you tell us a little bit about that song there? What was the uh, what was the thoughts behind it? I actually um, I came up with that song at school lease. Yeah. Um, I don't really remember writing it, but, <laughs> you know, while most people at schoolies were trying to decide, like, you know, whether they wanted to do physics or whether they wanted to try and be a rock star, I was trying to decide whether I wanted to do Tom or whether I wanted to do Paul, yeah. whether I wanted to make Tom and Paul come together yeah. right now over yeah. me. Yeah. It's a, it's a dilemma for all our uh, schoolies out there. <laughs> Uh, Wendy and AJ, before you do head off today, you've got the Cranker All-Stars show coming up very soon on Tuesday. When can people next see you perform around town? Anything happening? Anything exciting? Um, uh, you'll catch me at the Soul Box pretty much every, almost every Wednesday. They do a thing called Busker's Box and um, you rock up with your instrument um, and two guests and they put a hat or a box on the table in front of you and you perform and if people want to pay you, they can. As an audience member, it makes you feel so powerful because you're like, yeah, I might give you 50 cents. Or you might be like, actually, I really like this guy and you give him five bucks. Like, yeah. I heard a guy doing Bach on a keyboard there for free, you know? You just, oh, it's oh it was so brilliant. Yeah, I'm loving the Soulbox for that event. It's great. And of course, um, Cranker Comedy, we perform there. Every um, second Tuesday at the Cranker is great. Yeah. And uh, Monday night for the Lonely Soul. Which is an Egg Castle event. Uh, again, it's free by donation at the end, but... Yeah. Uh, that one's more, you got comedy, you got spoken word, a bit of burlesque, you know. It, the Ryan Gosling Memorial Hour, which is a very strange name for a oh sketch show, goodness. but they're hilarious. I... Not that I'm pitching other people here, <laughs> but there is a lot of good stuff going on in Adelaide. There's plenty of comedy outside the Rhino Room, it goes to show. Yes. That is the, we, we that also, is the premiere. We'll also be there. Yeah, we'll but be. you'll be there as well. Yeah. You'll yeah. be there as well. Nothing against Rhino no, 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 Adelaide no, no. Comedy Rocks. Of course not. We, uh, we actually love... started doing an early Saturday night show. So yeah. it's like, if you've got nowhere to go before Saturday evening, I think the show is I think at like Chopper's, 5.30 think Chopper six. from Runny John's show is going to be there yeah, tonight. Yeah, tonight. <laughs> It's all happening around town. You can catch Wendy and AJ at the Cranker on Tuesday as part of the Musical Comedy All-Stars show. Tickets are $5 on the door and it starts at 7pm. Wendy Torbay and AJ Ray, thank you so much for joining us on Streetcast today. Thank Thanks you. For having us.